Welcome to Wild on Design, presented by Women in Luxury Design and the Pacific Design Center. I'm Jennifer Convey. I'm the host. I'm also director of Women in Luxury Design. Today, we're super excited because, well, we have quite the international stunning brand to talk about. We're going to talk to uh, Tadeli. Tadeli is a Brazilian stunning, exquisite outdoor furniture brand that has global appeal. Uh, they have incredible versatility and what keeps them in demand is their constant, constant expanding. We have a very international topic today, international brand and international guests. I love that Tadeli incorporates superstar designers, such as the two guests we have here today. We're going to talk to Erica Santos, style director of Tadeli with our two superstar friends and interior designers who have new lines with Tadeli. We're going to meet everyone right now. First of all, Erica Santos with Tadeli, Cesar Geraldo, superstar interior designer, Sammy Hayek, also a superstar interior designer. Welcome everybody. Hi. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to Beautiful see you too. Wow. So I, I just have a, a plain old American accent. You guys are representing such a global, colorful uh, world. Um, you know, Erica, you're from Brazil, as is Tadeli. And Cesar from Colombia, correct? Correct. Uh, and Sammy from Mexico. Yes. Fantastic. Let's dive into this. Erica Santos, I'm going to start with you first. You actually were and are still a superstar. You're a blogger, lifestyle influencer. You're a fashion influencer and you have 1.5 million followers. Wow. <laughs> tell me and tell all of us how you and Tadeli came together. It's very smart on their part. But how was that journey? What happened and how did that... Um, uh, collaboration happen. So I'm living in Los Angeles since two two years now, and uh, I met Tatiana, the owner of Tideli here in Los Angeles, and we immediately felt the the energy between us. She's a visionaire. She's open. She has this crazy mind, and she like she created Tideli like 34 years ago. You know. And, uh, and yeah, now we are collaborating together. We are working together. We are creating new lines together and has been such a journey, you know, such a oh, journey. It's such a journey and so much product and so many, um, oh, so many variations and exciting colors. And that's what I love about Tadeli when I first yeah. uh, came into it. So all of you reside here in Los Angeles now. Um, yeah. Tadeli has showrooms all over the world, of course, uh, many in California, and of course, uh, quite a few in Los Angeles and Southern California specifically. So I want to talk to both of you, Cesar and Sammy. Um, you guys are good friends, right? You know each other already before Tadeli. Sort of, sort of. He's, he's also, it depends on the weather. You know, also, if, it's, if it's good weather, Sammy and I know each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only when I have to bear with him. I right, do that's it. Well, I, usually I need a bottle of mezcal before I see Sammy. So when I have it, then I can go meet with him. Oh, yeah, come on. Now people don't know friend. you're kidding. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. Like, I was drinking mezcal to be able to bear with this person. And he was doing the same. And then we decided to drink mezcal together just to right. bear, you know, each other. And that worked. Hey, whatever yeah. works. Whatever it works. He became like, amigos. Yes. Amigos. I was like, yeah. wait, didn't some didn't one of you just send flowers to somebody? I think you're playing this down. You're good friends. Tell yeah. Yeah. tell me yeah. if you would, who started the Tadeli connection? Because each of you have a line in the Latina collection, right, Erica? Yes. yes. Latina collection. Right. It was, so it was who Cesar. started Cesar, Cesar had a relationship with Tideli and he was uh, very generous to invite me to also become part of, of the team, which I think is, is very nice. Uh, often in the interior design world and in, in general in design, for whatever reason, there's some, some resistance. But I think it's not correct because I believe that uh, it will be very encouraging if we all have the same resources because then it pushes you to really do the best creative uh, self from yourself, right? To right. become 
to become a almost a scientist in just focusing in your own creativity and and then there's no other one like you so cesar was very generous thank you very much cesar to introduce me to tideli which is a very kind uh, gesture especially in the design world in general you don't see this gesture so often unfortunately uh, most designers are very jealous about their sources and about their clients, et cetera. And it was very nice of, of Caesar. And we have helped each other many times. Uh, you could think that we're competitors, but we don't see us as such. There's so many uh, opportunities for everyone and everybody should develop their own style and you should be paired up with the proper clients and projects. So uh, be it as it may, thank you, Cesar. And to answer your question, it was him who started the whole Tideli uh, voyage. I love uh, this. That, uh, this is where I bought you flowers did. today, Sammy. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Here, I have some flowers for you too, look. Oh, I like this. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Yes. All right. So, Sammy, I love you for saying that. Um, it's it's something I believe truly. And you're absolutely right. This industry, the design industry used to be, um, and I think it is changing, but yes, very proprietary, like keeping their own recipes. People were afraid to share and collaborate, you know, it, as if it took away something from you or competition or jealousy. I, I, I have seen that and I've seen it change, case in point. You guys are a great example of that. Um, running a business networking group, as I do, women in luxury design and also being in this industry, you know, um, we're stronger for the collaborations. We believe in community rather than competition. That's where the strength is. Um, and you guys are such, all of you are such a perfect example of sort of a international collaboration and friendships. And we're gonna hear a little bit more about the, the journey, um, for instance, the campaign and photo shoots and things in your lines in particular. So Cesar, tell me about, um, well, he's giving you credit. Sammy's giving you credit, very sweet of you to be so generous. Um, with your connections to Tadeli. Did you both launch your collaborations with Tadeli at the same time or, or was it one after the other? I'm no, asking for a reason. At the same time, at the same time, both at the same time, yes, yes. Uh, but also prior to the whole thing, and again, you know, I mean, Sam and I are very dear friends. We've known each other for quite a few years. So um, there was also a lot of comfort, you know, between us and, um, there was a project with Tideli that it, it, we ended up not, it, it did not come through. But um, uh, when that project was going on, Sammy and I, you know, decided to work together on that project. And I said, hey, Sammy, I think the perfect line would be Tideli. But because we ended up not doing that project, he got to meet, you know, still through the process, he got to meet Tatiana, he got to meet everyone at Tideli. And then that's when the whole conversation came up that we will do a line together and um, at the time it was in called the Latina collection, which is, you know, Tatiana was just sort of brainstorming with the whole idea. And then right. the Latina connection came up, the Latina collection came up, uh, the name. And um, then one time Sammy and I were having mezcal and then we said, well, should we call it? And he said, you know, I'm gonna call mine Veracruz. And I said, I'm gonna call mine Medellin, of course, our hometowns. And I think right. it was a great, it was a good, it was a good combination to bring that up. I love it. I, I right, Erica. This this is fantastic. So so you have the Sammy. You have the Vera Cruz line, Mexico, and you have the Mendelin. I'm not saying it as beautifully as you say it. Your hometowns, um, and that's those are the names of the collections. I would love um, for each of you. Uh, anybody jump in? Uh, what is Erica, explain in your own words, what is what makes Tadeli so unique? You know, it's got the colored ropes and. It's so versatile. I mean, I can say those things, but if you would, just tell us a, a, a brief scenario of what makes Tadeli so special and why working with designers like this and creating new lines is so exciting. So Tadeli, uh, it's a it's a family based company. You know, they have a lot of um, feelings around all that that they do. They are very open, and the slogan of the company: if if, if it's not funny, it's not sustainable. So as life, as marriage, as everything. So it's fun. It's it's has to be there. fun. 
yeah, and uh, it's there is the, this energy that flows that it's they are always open that it, they are always allowing things to to happen, and of course it, it's a huge huge uh, big big industry right now. They are so huge right now, but. Uh, 34 years ago, Tatiana launched this from the first, the, her first design with everything. So now they have more than 1,000 people in the factory, and they are more than 42 showrooms just in Brazil. And it's amazing. It's just amazing because they are very open to new ideas, to new forms of marketing. See, that's the key to success yeah. and yeah. longevity. To, yeah. to stay open. So just to clarify, every piece is made in Brazil. Yeah, correct? every piece is customized, everyone. So you can, you can choose from 100 colors of rope, 100 colors of aluminum, 20 kinds of stones and, and materials to do your own uh, furniture. So it's always a special right. one of a kind and one of a kind and, and customized. Handmade. I love the chair you're in, by the way. Yeah. Stunning. She's in the showroom. Is, it's handmade. It's done one co one by one, you know, so it's a very yeah. beautiful process made from very people beautiful. to people. Yeah. With a lot yeah. of love. Sammy, you, um, well, each of you, Cesar and Sammy, each of you, you know, have your thriving, extremely successful design businesses. Sammy, I know you have a furniture line before you had this outdoor furniture line, Vera Cruz, with the Latina collection with Tadeli. Can you explain and share a little bit about the journey, any surprises or challenges doing an outdoor furniture line, which is new for you? Yeah, it's always challenging because obviously the weather uh, furniture are complex because they have to they're mini structures they have to endure a lot of stress and you have to calculate not only someone sitting on it but hopefully someone sitting on the person sitting on the on the chair for example so there's two people on it then there's movement there's i mean they're mini structures so that's challenging in its own then when you expose uh, the furniture to the weather, the sun, obviously, the, the, the rain, the wind, the, the minerals, etc., that takes a whole different shape. And this is why I really appreciated the collaboration with Tideli because they were incredibly open to accommodate the wants and needs, and they are very vertical. So. For instance, if you want, and, and it happened, you know, I wanted a specific detail in aluminum, they can go ahead and do their own extrusion right there inside the factory. Or, right. or they want to customize uh, whatever in aluminum. It could be the rope, it could be the thread, it could be the, the right. stone. Right. So the customization and the verticality that they have inside the factory made it very, very fun. And like you say, it is challenging uh, to do uh, outdoor furniture, but with these resources, it really turned into something uh, more fun. So Sammy, you design furniture line, you have furniture lines before, but not an outdoor furniture line. How would you describe the Vera Cruz line? This is from your hometown. Describe it aesthetically for us, and then tell us what surprises you had um, once the line was launched. So there's a couple of things happening in parallel. One is an ongoing theme that I keep exploring, which is the combination of our cultures, meaning, you know, Colombia, Brazil, Mexico, where there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of color. And then I like to combine uh, those ideas with more structured ones, like in the United States or some countries of Europe. So merging that, that combination, I think, becomes a, a great balance. The line has, uh, the base is very stable, very grounded, and then it receives a more uh, colorful and more playful uh, scenario. And it's, it's an analogy for the two cultures. Now, two I, cultures. I wanted to, to control the palette. That's, that's just the inertia to say, no, no, this is the colors. And I struggle a lot with Tideli, especially with Erica. They're very colorful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I wanted to control the palette and and then 
with the time I realized the brand has this policy that, you know, designers could use any color in any material available, which, which really drove me a little bit of, you know, insane. Sure. But, but then I relaxed. Then after the launch, I've been seeing some of the combinations that designers have been building. I've been very pleasantly surprised because I've seen some combinations that I would have never thought of and that I wish I would have thought of because they turn out great. So that's the versatility, right? I I love it. So, so it's not just colors, colorful, but you can also do neutral tones too, neutral on neutral. And, you know, it, you really, really do have the versatility. And I love it that, you know, other people will come up with other com- combinations, color combinations. Yeah, I, I like to say, you know, designers are, you know, yeah, it's hard to release control, let go of control. We're all a little bit control freaks, or as I like to say, attention to detail. We're just very, very attached to attention to detail. <laughs> um, Cesar, how is you, in your own words, describe your Medellin uh, collection? What's the aesthetic of your collection versus Veracruz? Sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I have to add a little bit to what Sammy was saying in terms okay. of the color, because that was also a big challenge for me, you know, to make sure I was, a, I, I had to say I was a control freak because uh, Tatiana and I went into a good boxing match but Tatiana is very open too and very welcoming um it was it was a uh, you know Col- Medellin, uh, let's just say uh Colombia then Medellin and then me you know we're a very colorful uh, culture and Medellin has a festival you know the whole uh, inspiration was uh, to uh, around the uh, flower uh, festival that Medellin has every year which is super colorful of course all the flowers and that was my idea with the line. I wanted to have super popsicle colors, very bright, uh, which in fact, the, the hot pink is the first time that Tirelli has a hot pink. Tirelli never had a hot pink. Because when you pay attention to the rope, it's usually a combination of three colors or four colors. Uh, the machines, the threads, it's, it's very, very skinny, you know, uh, threads of uh, rope. Fibers. And it comes into, you know, three or four colors is in one color. And I did not want that. I just wanted a, a completely to be every color to be obviously one color and super bright. And Tirelli, that was not what Tirelli had in mind. But it all came out, you know, very nice. Oh, I, I, stunning. I was super happy. At least what Sami was saying too, you know, I was very surprised with some of the, uh, because what Tirelli offers in their website, that they can, you know, anybody can create any color composition that they want. And, um, but for me, I, I wanted to have a lot of control for press, for all of that, those first initial, you know, colors, they had to be the colors that I wanted to be, but, and they, they did it. It all came out wonderful. Did it. Um, I'm glad you mentioned press. Boy, oh boy. You guys, all of you, Tadeli, Cesar, Sammy, I, you all have so much press. The photographs are stunning. I, you have videos. Um, let's talk about the shoot that you did in the church, Cesar. Erica, the, how did that come about? Do you guys plan these things in detail? I mean, how did you come up with that? And didn't you just sort of accidentally wind up in there? Well, do you want me, Erica? Uh, so, so- um, Sure, either, both of you, chime uh, in. You know what? It was a very uh, so uh, interesting uh, uh, situation because uh, Sammy and I were supposed to go together, but um, uh, Sammy drank too much mezcal the night before, so he lost his flight. And um, so I got to, to Brazil and, um, you know, there was a location, actually, uh, there was a location for Sammy's uh, 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 cruise line because uh, his, his designs are very uh, modular and so you can actually build as long as you want, and, uh, which is fantastic. And the middle of the courtyard of this beautiful castle that was like the biggest space for Sammy's uh, line because it's, it, it, again, it was, it was perfect for it. So I was lucky oh, yeah. that he, I was lucky that he drank too much mezcal so he was not able to go, but still he got that beautiful spot, the courtyard. So when I was there, I thought, because my line is not modular, my line is the poltronas, the tables, the ottomans. The, the, the sofas, you know, three seaters, four seaters. We're seeing all the images here while Correct. we're talking. So, so then uh, there was a church, Eric arrived, the church was closed. 
and I asked, you know, Eric and Tatiana, I need to see this church. This church I want to see inside. They said, no, it's closed for now. We cannot open it. And uh, finally, they opened the church, which San Anthony and San Francis are inside, the two saints. And then we empty the entire church. We moved all the benches out. And that's how I found the, the, like the main photo for Medellin. I say, I'm, I have San Anthony on my left, and I have San Francis on my right, and Medellin is in the middle. And that's how that shot came together. And, it's uh, stunning. Yeah. Yeah, it's it was, collaborative discovery, right, I guess. It was. it was meant to be. We were talking earlier about uh, collaborating uh, or, or with colleagues. Um, my wife was pregnant when we had to go to Brazil. COVID was crazy. And, you know, uh, it was, there was a big chance I was not going to be able to, to come back in and be quarantined for 14 days. And my wife said, absolutely not. Yeah. But... You know, besides the fact that I trust Erica, I trust Cesar very much with aesthetic and with style. And uh, he was again generous enough again to babysit the photo shoot for my collection as well. So there's great benefits of having great friends within uh, your colleagues and, and Sorry, watching colleagues. your back and uh, all around. So, so it, it's it's very encouraging uh, to try to. Uh, help each other out. He's fantastic. So you were not hung over on Mescal. Uh, yes, you I have was. a three-year-old, a three-month-old now. Yes, I was hung over with Mescal, but that's not the reason why I didn't that's go. That's not the reason he didn't go. Okay, yes. so it's both reasons are, are true. Okay. Let me tell something curious about the photo shooting because it was for me, um, I, I always worked with fashion, so I was doing uh, styling for fashion shows in some in Sao Paulo Fashion Week. I was a uh, fashion correspondent for L'Officiel magazine, doing all the fa major fashion weeks around and and, and etc. So it was the first time I was doing a um, production for That's like for, for furniture. So when I arrived there, there was like twelve trucks of yep. furniture and said, Erica, what's now? I said, wow, let's yep. do it. And I was there with Cesar. It, it was crazy, right, Cesar? We had yes, more than 30 people insane. carrying things for us and making all, all that happen. Tati is super open. She, she came just for the first scene. After the first scene, she even didn't want to come to see if it was okay or not. She just leave us to work. And uh, it was really, really She amazing. trusted you. And the team, yeah. yeah, we had an amazing team there, and uh, it was amazing. I, I uh, think it, Erica did a fantastic. Sorry, uh, Jen, but I think you did a fantastic job, Erica, in putting the whole thing together. It was beautifully, I mean, really well executed. Um, it, it, it was a chaos. I mean, there was so many people, so many trucks, photographers, you know, right? Video, Three drones. It, it, it was six it was photographers. A very production, very big. right, huge production. How long, Erica, did that production take from beginning to end? This, this was 15 days photo shooting with six photographers, three drones, is all more than 30 people in the team. It was huge. And it, it wasn't it, the well, first it was worth house it. of Brazil. First house of Brazil, this castle, Garcia d'Agla, is the first house that was built in Brazil when they discovered Brazil 500 years ago. It's a very special location. Yeah. Very special. And it's beautifully done and well worth the effort. Um, thank you guys. So, just in closing, I just want to know. What's on the horizon for each of you? Erica, Tadeli, what's on the horizon for Tadeli? We just launched Latina Collection in Brazil and here. So soon we'll have it here in America too. Um, we are just so excited because we are selling already. Even if people didn't touch or didn't saw in person the collections, we are already selling so much. So uh, we are very happy. We are very excited to show Caesar and Sammy collections. They are really amazing. And uh, we just want to have them around us and create new stories together. They are friends now. We are like big huge, big family together. And we have lots of more to happen. Fabulous. Um, well, I can't wait to see uh, the furniture line in person soon at the Pacific Design Center.
Yes. For instance, yes. where you are right now in the showroom, um, we can't wait. We'll have a big opening. We'll do something, right? Um, Cesar, um, besides Tadeli or with Tadeli, what's on the horizon for you right now coming up? Anything you can uh, talk about or share? Sure. Yeah, there is a, a rad collaboration that I'm doing right now, uh, indoor and outdoor. It should come out hopefully in December, January. Uh, I'm very happy about this collection. It came out very beautiful. And just, uh, you know, projects, uh, blessed, you know, to have a few projects going on. And uh, it's, um, it's it's an ongoing thing that- Yeah, uh, you're always busy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We Congrats keep, on the collection. We keep ourselves very boutique-ish. We're very small, but we like to, you know, grab as much as we can. So that's, uh, that's fine. But for now, the next collaboration is a right collaboration. Which is Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. Uh, we'll be on the lookout for that as well. And Sammy, okay, wait, you you're busy because you have a three month old and a two year old. Yes. Indeed. But besides that. Well, I always keep the studio very uh, flexible. We do products, we do furniture, interiors, we do airplanes, we do, uh, right now I just finished a building in Mexico. We're doing two homes in Los Angeles. I'm finishing a building in Playa del Carmen as well. Oh, uh, so it's it's always very diverse all the time. And I'm very excited for, for the collaboration with Tideli. Very, very excited. I can't wait for the furniture to be there. And in my house, my wife is like, wait a minute, you designed this furniture and where is it? I don't see it. I need it. It's like, come on. We need so it here now. The most important project, bring Fideli furniture into my house. As in soon your as house, so you have something to sit on. Yes. I have some, some very, uh, very custom pieces uh, done in alum anodized aluminum. There's some these tables that I'm very excited about. Um, very with exciting. Stone legs, etc. So, okay. Yeah, I, I, I like the day when I work in many different scales of projects at the same time. And, and that's the way it's been for, for a long time now. Well, thank you everybody so much. Erica Santos with Tadeli, Cesar Geraldo, um, also designing with Tadeli and Sammy Hayek. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so very much. We can't wait to see the line. We can't wait to get back in the showroom in the Pacific Design Center or any of the others uh, in the world that you have. Um, we'll be on the lookout for your the Latina collection, the Veracruz and the Medellin at Tadeli. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Wild and Design. Thank you so much, Pacific Design Center. Uh, we love you. We love you, Tadeli, Cesar Geraldo, and Sammy Hayek. Uh, we'll catch you later. Thank you, PHX Architecture, uh, Monogram, and Cambria. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.